Hi everyone, this is Gene from Mahalo.com, and today I'm going to be showing you how to export your images from the Photogene app on your Apple iPad. Once you have an image in Photogene that you'd like to save, there are several export options available to you. First, select the Export button at the top right of the screen. This is going to drop down a menu with several options. The first one that you see here is Max Resolution. If you select that, you'll see more options to lower the resolution of your image. Resolution here basically means the quality of the photo. The higher the resolution, the better the quality. In most cases, it's best to just leave it set to max resolution. From here, just select Export from the top of the menu, and that'll take you back to the previous menu. Below the resolution, you'll see a switch to preserve IPTC. Now, IPTC is a set of standards developed in the 70s for information related to images. Usually, you want to leave this set to On so that all of your information is saved. We're actually going to cover the image information, which is referred to as metadata, which you'll see right next to the export option in the top menu, in a later tutorial. So below this, you have your actual export options. First, you have Save to Library, which is pretty straightforward. Just press that button and it saves a new copy of the image in your iPad library. After that, you have your social media options, which include Twitter, Facebook, and Flickr. All of these options function the same way. Simply select the one that you would like to post to, and then depending on the option that you select, there may be an area where you can post some information about your image. And finally, you'll be taken to a login screen where you type in your username and password. Once you hit submit, your image will be shared with the world. There's an FTP option just below that, which is intended for webmasters. And as with the social media options, you're going to enter the information to connect to your website and then hit upload. This option isn't a great option to upload to your website since, by default, it just uploads to your root directory. There's no method of browsing the folders within your site. When I tried this out as a test, it didn't even upload it to my public HTML folder. The final three options are Email, Print, and Dropbox. The Email option will use the settings that you set up in your iPad to check your email. In order to change these, you'll have to either have them set up ahead of time, or press the square home button on your iPad, and then navigate to the Settings menu and enter your email preferences. Tapping the Print option will take you to a menu where you can select the print quality and orientation of your image, and then when you tap the Print button, the following menu will ask you how many copies you'd like to print, and to select a printer. In order to use this option, you need a network printer available on the wireless network that your iPad is connected to. Dropbox is a file sharing and online backup tool, you can find out more information at Dropbox.com, and if you are a Dropbox user, the final option in the export menu is for you. Once you tap the Dropbox button, you are prompted for a file name in a folder where you would like to export your image. Well that's it for one of the most extensive export menus that I've ever seen on an iPad app. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe below, and email any requests you may have to requests at Thanks for watching!